guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. This is the last dupes video of 2023. How sad. Um, but we do dupes all April long, a little extended this year due to some timing traveling issues, but that's okay. Um, I do dupes April, all April long because a long, long time ago I thought April Fools, April dupes, how cute. It is the most expensive series of my channel because I purchase all of these products with my own money. Some of them are travel size or mini. Um, but yeah, it gets the job done because we're on a tight, tight budget. I have done my eyeshadow today, as you can see, uh, because we are going to be diving into today's dupe of Benetint versus What a Tint. Benetint is from Benefit Cosmetics, What a Tint is from Essence, and we are going to face these off together. Not much was <laughs> written about these guys online, and you use them the exact same way, so we might be able to jump right into this really quickly. This is the Benefit Benetint. That's the box. This is the bottle. It's a plastic bottle with like their old school packaging. Like Benefit used to have like really vintagey looking packaging and now everything's like silver. <laughs> so anyways, this retails for $21 for 0.2 ounces. You can find it at Ulta or Benefit online or wherever Benefit is sold. I think they also sell this at Sephora and things like that. I will list it down in the description box below. It comes in six shades, although I do believe that Benetint is their like OG tint shade. It's their rose tinted shade. They also have like soft pink, mango, peach, orange, those types of things. But this like really liquidy rosy tint is like the OG, I believe. Moving on to the Essence What a Tint. This is the shade Kiss from a Rose, but there are no other type of tint options from Essence. I think this is the only one. It retails for $4.99. What difference is that? That is a $16.01 difference. You get 0.16 ounces in this, so like a little bit less than the Bene Tint. Um, but it has mainly the same consistency, very similar packaging. The Essence is actually in glass versus the Benetint, which is in plastic. Interesting. So neither of these really had anything like written up about them. It basically was like layer on your lips for a very rosy flush color, dot and blend out quickly on your skin for a flush of color as well. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. I don't have any foundation products on right now because I thought what we could do is dot them on really, really quickly on our skin and pat them out, and then we can put foundation over top of it to see if it lays under foundation okay to give us that kind of like underpainting look, and then we can go on top of the foundation or powder to see if it can handle going on top of powder or if it really kind of like disrupts that situation. They both have the same very small doe foot applicator. The Benetint has a very strong fragrance to it. Uh, and the Essence also has a fragrance to it. The Essence is a little bit more fruity and the Benetint is a little bit more rosy. If you are unfamiliar with how we uh, test dupes on my channel for April for the April dupes series. Uh, we test them side by side, so I will use the Essence on this side and the Bena Tint on this side, and we basically test them side by side to see how they apply, perform, look, the consistency, all that jazz, and things like that. Uh, today, to blend them out, I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm going to use the same brush, the same style of brush, but two different brushes to stipple it out. Okay, now I'm going to take a base foundation uh, product to put over top of it just to see if it either shows through. It's a very, very light tint. Um, I feel like this would be really cute if you're doing that sweaty but cute look. If you used it kind of like as sunburn on top of your nose, I think that would look really, really cute. Either one would work. But I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in Vanilla and Light, a pump of each. And I'm just going to use this as my base. And we are going to 
see how it sits underneath makeup because you could also layer it to be a lot more pigmented as well if you wanted underneath your foundation um, right now I'm just doing a very very small layer because I don't I'm not as big of a fan of underpainting uh, that's just my personal preference Okay, right off the bat, just putting the foundation product over top of the Benetint. You can definitely see the Benetint a little bit better than on the What A Tint, the Essence side. Um, again, you could probably build those layers up and then make it a lot more noticeable underneath. I'm not a big fan of the underpainting method though, but you can see this under a light to medium coverage foundation and it does give a very nice flush look. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit more on top of the foundation to see if to see if it can be applied over those products or if this is really more of just like a skin tint type of thing and then also we're going to apply it to our lips as well all right so the final verdict for the cheeks they perform the exact same way I will say that the Benetint it is a little bit more of a juicy applicator like it absorbs the product a little bit more to distribute on the skin a little bit easier but they both look very nice over top of makeup and under makeup and they are very similar shades the one downside is that the Benetint has a very floral rosy scent whereas like the Essence is a little bit more of like a fruity floral but on the cheeks it looks the exact same so let's do the lips let that dry do one more coat All right, what do you guys think? I think that the benefit side absorbs into the skin a little bit quicker. Um, I think the colors are almost identical, but I do think that the essence has a little bit more of like a pink to it. And I do think that it kind of, it does take a moment to set into the skin. It's not absorbing as quickly as the benefit side. And that could be just like ingredient differences, but in terms of color, it's the exact same and in terms of feel too like they're very um liquid they're very thin formulas and so i feel like they feel the exact same they feel and look the exact same on both the cheeks and the lips so do i think that the benefit benetint and the essence what a tint are dupes for each other yes and for a $16 savings $16 that's crazy I will say that the essence what a tint was kind of hard to track down I did find it at Ulta but I couldn't find it anywhere else I will link it down in the description box below so you can check it out on your own time let me know what your thoughts are are you a fan of the benetint any of the shades let me know down in the comment section below what do you think about this dupe do you agree because honestly like I don't really see a difference and if you're looking for an affordable sweaty but cute sunburnt look like I feel like the essence what a tint is where you're gonna go also you know what if you're looking for like a um kiss proof smudge proof like wedding day look that maybe you only have to put a gloss on this would also look really really good too yeah I really like it um I will link these down in the description box below so you can check them out on your own time if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please give it a big old thumbs up let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below let's start a conversation as always please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos thanks so much for watching guys